Good evening, everyone. Hello, and welcome back to a Let's Play Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. I am the Black Shadow, and we have succeeded in all three elimination chapters now, which is good, and we've actually done very well in them, uh, to be quite honest. I mean, I've, I've made all three of them look not that tough, really, which they are. That's a lot of practice and everything else going into that one, but uh, now we will enter into a different stratosphere of uh, of challenge, folks. Uh, the showdown chapters. Now, anyone who has played this game will remember these very well. And showdown three in particular. Oh goodness me, the boss gauntlet. Showdown three being the ultimate boss gauntlet. I'd like to add, for that matter, it is. Hmm. Uh, Interesting, to say the least. We must take out all 13 bosses which the game will put down in our way. And we must make use of whatever supplies we can scavenge from all the areas that we're going to be visiting. Simple as that. There is no rest time in between bosses. Once you kill one, you're straight into another. Um, and I must admit, I have put a lot of thought into this, folks. Um, into how we might want to achieve Showdown 3. Now, we have been going, obviously, with Kevin a lot of the time, but um, the problem I've been having is that I've been struggling with Kevin, to be quite honest. I have struggled to really, really get it to things to work with him. Um, I mean, I've done hard, but I've never been able to do very hard with him. So I've sort of been bouncing around um, ideas with uh, a couple of people that uh, have been watching this all along. Um, a few people actually sort of bouncing ideas around of what perhaps other avenues to take maybe exploring different characters and very quickly it went on to the uh, the NPCs now admittedly the NPCs are something that I have wanted to show since I've done file one um, the problem is that sort of I've, I've, the opportunity has never really um, never really got round to me to be quite honest um, which is quite annoying um, but uh, I was um, having a little talk with uh, 5721 Jimmy, and uh, he made a suggestion of if we go to the NPC list, um, because of course everyone everyone has got a load of um, non-playable characters. Um, these are all characters that you buy from the collection screen, and every non-playable character you get is based off of a actual player character, like. Um, like I say, like you got like Rodriguez here. It was obviously the guy from uh, the Chopper in uh, End of the Road, you know, with the glasses and the cool, um, cool voice. Um, he's in this game, but he's based off of like uh, the David type, um, which means that he's got he like he's um, uh, David's animations. He's got his special weapon or special or personal item, I should say, um, which for Dave's case is the toolkit. He's got that as well. Um, but again, starting items can change a lot. But it, they're like based off um, certain characters. Um, one idea as well that came up actually was of um, using Yoko. Again, because of the fact she's got so much um, inventory space. But in my honest opinion, the problem is that because she, she... Well, her health doesn't, isn't great, which also is a problem. But also she doesn't possess a pot shot. And the problem with that is that basically if she isn't possessing a pot shot, then she's got to shoot twice as much to kill something as, say, Kevin or Alyssa. Which sort of renders the double inventory space a little bit sort of impractical because it doesn't really, it doesn't really help much if you know what I mean. Um, so I've sort of scrapped her from the, the book, but uh, five seven two one G me uh, suggested one NPC in particular, Mister Gold, who is a Mark type. Now the first thing that came to me that he's thinking, well, hold on a sec, well, there's no pot shot there, so there's an immediate disadvantage there. But, looking at it, there's actually a lot of pros um, to actually this. I mean, if you think about it, it's a Mark type. So, he's got a handgun on him personally. Um, and the problem with this with this in a way is that there's handgun ammo in pretty much every single stage that you can collect. But, if you're playing someone like Kevin, odds are you're not going to have the inventory space to have a handgun on you. You're probably going to have like a shotgun or a grenade launcher or something like that. So you're not going to have a handgun on it to make use of that a lot of handgun ammo, which is admittedly lying around. Obviously, that's not a problem for a Mark type character because he's got one on on him permanently. Also, in its own slight sort of way, 
because he doesn't have the 45 auto and thus the 45 uh, magazine, it also frees up an inventory space in that respect. So you've already got a lot more inventory space perhaps than you would have Kevin type. But then there's the real crux of it, is that um, all these um, uh, uh, additional characters, all this, although their animations and all everything how they act are based off of um, the character that they're based from, their stats are not necessarily. They may have certain trends, like a Cindy type might typically not have a huge amount of health, but the stats for these characters, like their health, um, how fast they are, and even how much damage they do, is actually basically made up. And someone like Mr. Gold is a very interesting prospect because he has got a huge amount of health. Uh, his movement speed, ironically, is actually slightly faster than Mark. And he has a bit of extra, um, well, I, I think it's known as sort of like attack power. If you think of like 100% um, being the standard damage that a an AI character, um, all the standard characters, all eight of them do 100% damage, say that. Um, and what will happen is Mr. Gold has a attack percent damage sort of percentage of 150. So that's basically he's getting a critical hit one in every two shots. And and the great thing is in that respect is obviously pe uh, people pot shot can force a critical hit, but that's only with handgun type weapons. That doesn't work for um, grenade launchers, assault rifles, shotguns. All those sort of things, you can't get the critical hit, so you can't get a bonus with the pot shot. Whereas, 150% attack modifier changes the game. Completely changes the game. And the thing is, I'm almost so... I'm very happy with um, Mr. Gold. I think it's a really good idea. And the thing is... Outbreak. I'm so happy with it. I am going to completely go back of what I said in the last video and this might be a really 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 bad idea but I am going to take this on very hard this might be a incredibly poor decision but I'm feeling pretty good about it because the one thing I do know about um, showdowns which are unique to it in regards to anything else is it doesn't matter what difficulty you're playing, item drops are exactly the same. In same location, same amount, same use. It's just obviously enemies are a lot stronger and take a lot more to kill. But, like I said, I'm feeling pretty confident about this. So, we're going to take this on. Hope you had a nice little insight into how my brain was working along there. I thought I don't know, it might interest one or two of you to see how I'm thinking. But we're going to try some very hard, and this should be a fascinating contest. 13 bosses, 5 from file 1, 5 from file 2, and 3 additional at the very end, including one complete unique boss. We must take every single one of them out in one go. Can we do it? I bloody hope so. Oh, this is going to be something else. Oh, goodness, though, yeah. Uh, I've got to quickly do one thing before I start, so I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I just I was, had, had some chewing gum, <laughs> and I was like, I don't really want to be do doing that in the middle of recording. Um, so I had to go quickly get uh, something to put it in, but this is going to be... A fascinating little contest. No doubt I have practiced this a little bit, but even so, I, I have practiced with Mr. Gold a bit, getting used to how he works and everything else, but this is going to be one hell of a fight. And the also good thing as well, in a respect, is because there's no pot shot, you don't have to wait to attack. It's its own little bonus. Now... I'm sure you can see <laughs> that Mr. Gold is not a regular survivor. Mr. Gold is a golden stick man. Yes, you are seeing this, folks. 
Now, Mr. Gold is, um, he, he was uh, part of a, um, a five-character special on um, Regional Outbreak. Uh, Mr. Gold, he had Mr. Red, Gold, um, Green, Black, and... Blue, was it? Yes, it was blue. There were five stick men that were available um, back in File 1, folks. You could access them if you got hold of every single special item in the game. But, of course, if you use the backwards compatibility feature um, from uh, with File 2, then everything unlocked! Oh, that was poor decision, Shadow. Come on. Oh, that is one also really good thing, Mr. Gold. His um, virus break is incredibly slow. Really, really slow. Which is nice. Now, you see, handgun rounds. Very nice. Now, what we're going to do is we've got the Magnum and a shotgun. We want to keep hold of those. But now we've got to try and get out of here. Run! Oh, piss off. Slam the X button. Get it off. Right. We need to sort of lure it to attack and then slip behind it. That's not working. And also because this is a mark type, he's got the um, the block ability as well, which has its own uses. Oh, we've got problems now. Which basically means that I can, you know, take much less damage from um, being attacked, which is another useful bonus, considering that Mr. Gold has got a huge amount of health. He's got so much health, you heal him with a green-red combination, it doesn't fully heal him. It is crazy, right. Actually, speaking of green herbs, we're going to use one. Back off. Yes, I hate these damn things. Oh, come on! Get off me! Oh, Jesus Christ! What, is, what the hell is this? Oh, come on! Jesus! The problem is I don't really want to shoot him because I need to keep hold of the ammo. I can't afford to use the ammo against anything else. They're going to take a, a fair amount of damage, but there's five of these things. Oh. I'm going to have to kill some of these. Right, throw a burst hang on mutated G. Get that over and done with. But this is the good thing, you don't have to sit around like waiting to potch on them, you can just literally unload on it. Which is really quite useful. I will admit. Right, now there's three recovery medicines over here, which we might as well grab hold of, because the burst handgun's no use to us now. Come on, reload! Those things are more annoying than just about anything else in the actual boss gauntlet. There is also a survival knife flashing there, but I don't want. There's not much down this end, by the way. There is, like, there's a blue herb, but that's not really of much use to us. Ow! Let me see. Can't believe that hit me. I'm legitimately surprised. Right. Come on! Oh, I'm empty. Oh. I hate these little things. I don't even know what the hell they're called. Uh, they're just freaking annoying. They're more annoying than this than they were in File 1. There's just so many of them. Right. Uh, considering this is the case, we might as well grab hold of something else. There's no harm in it. We might as well grab a green red combo. Gotta take everything you can with you. That was awfully close. Yes, there we go. That's the mutated G down. And no, you couldn't use the train, by the way, to attack it. You, you in any of these fights, you cannot use anything that's environmental, and that includes the next boss. 
the giant leech. And you can remember the hell this gave us until we uh, learned of Kevin's pot shot in Magnum. Or pot shot in 45, I should say. Right, now we've got a variety of spies here. Handgun. Uh, we've got there's acid rounds. Uh, first aid spray, newspaper and bottle. Handgun round. I'm going to drop the Magnum down from up. Yes, that is a rocket launcher. But we're going to leave that there for a moment. We're going to leave that there just for the moment. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it in place of the shotgun. Because the problem you've always got is trying to judge when a boss is going to die. It's very difficult. And the problem is, if you get it wrong, then say if you've got something on you that you really want to have with you and you've accidentally left it, you can't get it back. Which is a problem. Oh, we better, actually, we're better off reloading here. I mean, the good thing is that I know what items spawn where, but even so. Right, there is an antivirus pill, which I don't see them. I'm probably using, but well. Green herb, we've got a iron pipe. Here it is, don't want that, because a little bit further down. You can see it flashing there. Handgun magazine. Very nice. Now, what we're going to look to do is basically use the handgun, the handgun magazine, and then pull back. Because then I want to put, I want to grab hold of like the um, the ideas. I want to get hold of the uh, the magnum, the magnum you've got to have with you. By the way, I'm just going to tell you that right now. Magnum must accompany you for basically the rest of this game. It is as simple as that. A weapon you can soon throw. Rocket launchers you can because um, there are more than one during the course of the. Uh, the um, battle, and I think I know where I'm going to use them, but even so, it's not particularly easy, but this is going to be interesting. In an ironic sort of way, because you can now move while shooting, it makes this battle a reasonable amount easier, rather than only being able to stand, but it's still not particularly easy. Come on! And just shoot and go backwards. Ow! Keep shooting, I'm gonna get hit again. Although poison's not ideal. If I'm poison, that kind of sucks. Uh, there's a blue herb around, I'm not too worried. Come on, keep shooting. Ow. Right, back away, back away. Back away. And we'll leave it at that. Wow, I've done a lot of bullshit. a lot more damage than I thought it was going to. But that's alright, we've done a we've done a fair amount of damage there actually. I'm pretty happy with that. We've done more than you might think. And again, it's it, it's always really awkward in a way to judge because the fat Mr. Gold has got does an extra extra 50% damage. It does complicate things in in regards of actually trying to predict how much more punishment it can take. It does complicate things, but uh, it's just something you've got to, um, you've just got to learn to try to, try to judge, I guess. I mean, you can really notice it when you start taking on stuff like zombies and that, and suddenly they're not dying to anywhere near as many shots as you thought they might. Right, so, shotgun. Magnum handgun. There are acid rounds there, I'm not particularly worried about. There are also 14 shotgun shells down here. I might well take those in place of the handgun ammo, but I want to use the handgun a little bit more first. If I can say use an, a clip of the handgun, then I'll return and then I'll grab the shotgun shells. If not, then I'm not too worried because the handgun ammo is not a bad amount. I'm not going to like can't like shoot and like reload after like every bug. We can't afford to do that. We've still got a, 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 a some manifest of a time frame to be working on here. Now as ever, walk up. Wait, wait to see what it does. There we go. Now it must be ours. How did that hit? Barely moved from poison. Oh, have I been poisoned again? God damn. 
There are more blue herbs around, but even so. Oh, look at you! Still wanting a fight. Right, go back, grab the shotgun shells and we'll just carry on with what we've got. Because I don't think that can take too much more punishment. If you ask me. Proceed on downwards a little bit further. Um, by the way, there is also, there is another first aid spray hiding down here. Just so you know. Right. Drop the handgun ammo, grab the shotgun, but I'm still going to use the handgun for now. Because the handgun's actually not a, too bad a weapon to be using against, um, uh, against the uh, actual leech. Because you move it and do pretty decent damage it, actually. Right, move on backwards. It, it, is, it is admittedly kind of strange, and the fact that he... Mr. Gold is actually a little faster than Mark, which is handy because Mark isn't, whoops, particularly fast. Complete lapse of concentration there. Nope. Oh, now you're mine. Yeah, you see, I thought it was pretty close. I wouldn't quite say it's a case of me doing sums in my head because I don't really know quite what the numbers are, but you've just got to get a general feel for things. And sort of guesstimate, really. Alright, third boss in line is the Suspended from Hellfire. Now, the boss itself isn't particularly strong. It's these bloody liquors that will con constantly respawn as well. You just want to walk now. Uh oh. He knows where the hell I am. Him out. Ow! There is a grenade launcher there, but I'm trying to. I'm trying to get all that blue herb down there. But yeah, these liquors will sort of respawn a bit, which is quite not. Ooh, that was close. After a while, they do get back up. Right. No. Where's this other one? There we go. He's dead. All right. That's all right. I tell you actually what I might as well do here. I might as well just use the last two bullets. Might as well help. Why not? Right. Shotgun rounds. Uh. There. What's here? Yeah, there's no need pace. Newspaper bottle. Newspaper end bottle, I should say. Grab hold of a uh, shotgun. Now, I've got to think here. There is that grenade launcher. Hmm. Sorry for moving the headset around a bit. It is really, really, really ridiculously hot and humid here, over here at the moment. Recording is a little bit on the uncomfortable side right now. If we can't piss it off. Oh, shit. I'm trying to run down the other side of it. There we go. Because there's a handgun sitting down here, which you might have And yes, those are the other liquors having got back up. Ow! And we're quite actually we're actually quite bad. Though. This isn't the greatest situation we're in. I need to get the help, basically. All right, so let's get down here. We might as well use it because if we wait until we're danger, it's not going to fully heal us. That probably didn't completely. But yeah, we've got the grenade launcher, which I kind of wouldn't mind taking with me. So there might be more guesstimations going on here. Take that down. Use that to heal us. 
Yeah, there's been more guesstimations here on how much damage can the Suspend Dead take. The problem is, the Suspend Dead has not got a lot of health. Whoops. Damn it! That was a very nice sir. Right, what we'll do is I'm not too worried about the shotgun itself, is I'll just use up the shotgun and if we're running low now I can just reload it. But the important thing, you've always got, yeah you see there, it was risky waiting to use up the sh other shotgun rounds because I was risking losing the grenade launcher and you've got to do that in this, you've got to keep the items you want with you. If there's ammo you want to reload, put it down, pick it up and reload it. Don't carry it with you. Alright, boss number four is Thanatos. Um, in his uh, running version, this is. Although, do bear in mind that, not unlike the other game, he is actually vulnerable. He can die. Just so you know. Right, so what we want to do here is we run up here first. There's a variety of items around here. You've got an assault rifle, there's handgun mag, there's a handgun ammo. Um, there is the big prize, is there's a magnum handgun magazine here. That is the big prize. Make sure to grab hold of that. Here's the assault rifle. Which... I'll tell you what, actually, I'll, I'll use that first. But I'll use the handgun first, because you've got 15 handgun bullets around. Now what I want to try and do, I want to try and shoot him from up here. Because the only way Phantos is going to get up is by running up. Like that. And now we've got fun and games. Ow! Whoa, 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 whoa! Unload on him! Oh my god, he's... Oh no! Oh my god. That has just changed the complexion of this entire... Oh my god. Well, it's Phanatos who's the fifth boss, but that has just changed the complexion of this, this fight entirely. He's a crap. Right, um... Whoa! Hangar magazine. Damn you! Right. Oh no, he didn't. There is handgun ammo there, of course, but whoa! Old tricks still work. It might be a new game, but old tricks still work. All right, that'll do for a reload. <laughs> you we'll stay down, but yeah, I thought if we stayed down, we might just dodge that. Right. Um. Right. If we don't have Magnum handgun, we are going to have to take the grenade launcher stuff. Oh, I hate you so much for that attack. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go with, um, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to go with uh, grenade launcher stuff. Although, this is probably somewhere where I'm not all that, I actually am considering just unloading on him with the rocket launcher and killing him. If we can get it to land, of course. Which is no guarantee. <laughs> I hope you burn in flames of hell. Yeah, I shouldn't have shouldn't have got the item, should have just stayed down. Oh! Oh! Well, this is um This is very quickly falling apart. Oh my god, this is quickly falling apart. Right, 
we don't really have all the firepower we would like. Oh, there's actually 45 all around. I didn't know that. I know this may sound ridiculous. But we don't really have the ammo to spare. I might... I can't reach. I was considering, do we have to perhaps do some melee damage to him? The problem is that I don't think we can reach. Right, we need we need to need to rethink of a plan here because this is not at all how it should have gone. Stop doing that freaking attack! Goodness sakes! Oh, it's still uh, hit me down. Um. Right. Let's think this through, Shadow. Hang up. We're gonna have to start the hang up here. We got 30 shots. Obviously, the game wants me to actually hit him in the weak spot. You can't. Get, you, I don't. Never too sure if you can get away with just hitting him generally. I think you've got to hit him in the weak spot to actually do damage. Come on. Loading. If I take a hit, I take the hit. If I take the hit, jab. Oh, whatever. That's a lie. You know it, game. Just gotta unload in him. Do what damage we can with the handgun. And we'll just have to go from there. Although our health is actually pretty bad. We're actually in a pretty bad situation. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm out of range. the block where you can. Which channel we got left? Two shots. Whoa! Yes! That'll do! Alright, well, we're not completely in a hole. We've battled our way back a little bit there. Ooh. Goodness me. Right, next plan, or next uh, boss, I should say, is the Titan. Now, we are certainly healing. Uh, there is a hanger up here. There's a couple of assorted pieces of health, but nothing much, really. Right, so we want to come down here. There's a, a few items lying around. You've got like an assault rifle. There is a grenade launcher down here with a uh, burst shot. Only one. I'm gonna look to see if. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm gonna look to see if I can't try and get it out and combine with the other grenade launcher. I'm basically, walk around with two grenade launchers on us, so I'm gonna have to try and fiddle around with this uh, over yonder. Where is it? Is it over this one? Yeah. Mine. Ow. Uh, it wouldn't matter if I try to block that much. Oh, God's sakes. Right, combine that with that. Okay, that's not too bad. What should I do Grab the green. Let's see if there's another red. There is a red around somewhere. Back me there on our right. Grab that. Um, ooh, what the hell do we play this? Block their health. Right, throw the handgun at him. 
hit me twice. I don't know, but I've got to be careful because remember the Titan has got an instant attack. If you're low on health. Which is not good. Oh, don't do that. Right, what we're gonna do is because I know the Titan's got a lot of health. Got the blocking just in time there. We use that. Grab the Magma handgun. Unload. Because I didn't think it was gonna die because it is pretty resilient. It is pretty tough. But then it is an elephant, so what do you expect? <laughs> right, now I think there's hanging ammo over here. Yes. I wanna... Whoa! I wanna try and keep both these grenade launchers with us. Because you will find um, alternating ammo for both grenade for both types of grenades. Um, so, I wanna try and keep both of possible. Because we haven't got a Magnum handgun clip, uh, using the slot, we'll have to just take the second grenade launcher with us instead. That died! Yeah, I thought it was going to take a bit more punishment than that. But again, this is this, this, this um, additional attack kicking in. <sighs> Bloody hell, it is hot in here. It is really warm. Next up is Max the Lion, and he's got a couple friends with him. Right, burst ammo. The way you want to go. Simply because acid rounds do not kill uh, the female lines in one shot. Burst rounds do, the acid ones don't. And I know that because I've tested it. Oh, I had to put the block in there. Ah, oh, disappointing. Right. Well, I kind of. Whoa, that was close! Right, I just want to use the handgun on him for now to get him to retreat upwards. That'll do. Okay, that buys us a bit of breathing space to sort of scavenge some of the stuff that's around here. Is that reloaded? It has reloaded. Alright, there's a few things in here. Bomb switch. You want to take that with you if you want to make a future battle a lot easier. Oh, he's down again. Damn it, can't continue exploring, really. It's hard to do so when he's attacking. Oh, shouldn't have kept shooting. That was a poor decision. Where'd he go? I can hear him. He lost me. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone up. God damn. Didn't realise. Hey, oh, this is gonna get awkward. Come on! Right, take some shots. Right, we need to reload the handgun. There's handgun ammo there. I need to lure him. Not a lot of fun doing that. I'd like to just add right now. It's not fun doing this! That was... Oh, that was even luckier! Goodness me! There are some grenade launcher rounds up there which I want to try and get hold of, but I can't right now! Damn it, Max! The problem is I can't have him get stuck in there with me because then we've got problems. We need to sort of throw him off like that. Burst rounds. Okay. Let's grab the other grenade launcher. We can scare him off. That'll do. That'll give us some time. Right, let's combine that around. Lovely. Keep, get everything sorted out. Awesome. Right, we've actually got loads of grenade launcher rounds, actually. Now, there are more handgun rounds down here, which I wouldn't mind getting hold of. Those. 
And there's a hang gun itself, but I'm not too worried about that. Oh dear. Where the hell are you going? Go and face me like a man. Right, he's running away again. So what you gotta do, just do that, just to sort of not get him away from you. It just gives you a little time, just to just to regroup, if you will. But you gotta take out the two female lines, otherwise your life is gonna be pretty damn miserable. Oh, it's only 11 shots. Uh, interesting. I might also take uh, an opportunity here to heal. There is a red herb. There's a green herb further up. There is also a uh, first aid spray line. Round! Oh dear, don't get caught on those steps, by the way, folks. It is not a good place to be. You are in no man's land if you get caught on those steps. No! No, I didn't mean to do that! I can't risk shooting at him in case he dies! I'm gonna get my stuff back. No! Where is it? Where's the bomb switch? Down here, I think. No! Oh dear! I'm doing a great job here. This is a bit not ideal. Right, grab the bomb switch. Right, now let's get back to the handgun. If he's still alive after the handgun, we just unload him with something else. I can't see anything. Okay, fine, be that way. Um, now what do we want to use? Burst rounds or acid rounds? Gotta be burst. It's gotta be burst rounds, surely. No acid rounds. No, it will be burst rounds. Not too sure it really mattered much in the end which one I used. I'm trying to think which one would it be weaker to. I'm, I'm never really too sure. Apart from some enemies which I know have got distinct weaknesses. Typically, it's sort of throw whatever the hell you want. Alright, boss number eight now is the Gigabyte. And three of his friends are going to use the Magnum for now. Because there are seven Magnum handgun rounds lying around. Ooh, uh, that was interesting. I thought it was going to be more effective than that. Uh oh, uh oh! Be this way then! Be like that! Right, it deals with all that. Handgun magazine, we will reload. There is some handgun, uh, there's some magnum bullets just to the left of us here. Right there. So we'll use up the magnum on uh, the gigabyte. No, Shadow, you can't be missing. You can't be affording a miss now. Now those did hit. Right, do a spot reloading. Bomb switch, very good. Alright. Now there is some other bits of pieces. There is a shotgun actually behind the gigabyte. Got a few herbs, a few bits of pieces. There's actually a fair amount of health here. I'm also not afraid about using the Magnum as well um, in this fight, purely because there's uh there is some Magnum handgun rounds in the next area. So I might well use the shotgun and then use the Magnum handgun for that. Acid rounds? Be borrowing those. If I can give myself a pretty good stash of, gr of grenade launch rounds, that actually could prove very beneficial. Right. We will unload on him with the uh, shotgun. No palms are being right up in his face. There we go. That will do some uh, nice damage. Is that iron pipe? Yes. Ooh. 
Oh, run away! Oh, that was close. All right, next up, Magnum handgun. All right, then, come on now. We're doing well. This is this is pretty damn good going. To get this, f oh no, run! Oh damn! I tried to block, but I realized yeah, facing the wrong way. It's never gonna work. Whoa! Oh, he didn't like that. He didn't like that. Uh, slowly shoot and retreat backwards. Yes, he's down. But it's now, this is where the difficulty can sort of spike for a lot of people. And to be honest, I don't blame you. Boss number nine. I can't believe I'm even saying that. Boss number nine is the Tyrant R. Now what you want to do here is run to the right. Because the Tyrant does not immediately know where you are. Oh, he found us. He found us! We're in trouble. Only benefit is that he doesn't... He's actually a lot slower than what he usually is. This is why we've got the bomb switch. Uh-oh. Oh, he missed! He missed! Complete trajectory error on the on the side of... Ow! On the side of the tyrant. Now, a useful little tactic to get away from the tyrant is make use of this container. You'd be surprised how confused he can get by it. Down the other side. He sees lost us. He doesn't know where we went. Make good use of it. Now the tyrant will just sort of run around non aimlessly at this point. Uh, there are a oh, first aid scrub. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. He's running around like a headless chicken. Ow! Bastard. We need to get away from him. We need to get down to the other side of the map because there are a lot of useful supplies for us. Uh oh. Ow. Run. Run, run, run. This is a bit of a battle against time here. Although he's a lot slower than what he normally is, he's still pretty quick. Now there's a grenade launcher here with a lot of ammo. Oh man, what's he got? It's got acid rounds. Right, I need to get those acid rounds out. And I need to put them into the other. Uh, uh oh. I'm basically trying to just condense some ammunition here. There's enough health around which I don't mind taking some damage from the Tyrant R. There's enough health around for me to, to get away with that. Right, use all of them. Oh, come on, you bastard! Oh, I hate him so much. I hate him so much! Come on, Shadow. Come on. Fucking run. Now he's lost us. He's lost us. Okay. Right. We're going to have to get a move on here. Right. How do we want to do this? Um, right. Okay. We'll do this. I, can't, I don't think we can get all the ammo out. Right. What right with that? Head down here, grab hold of the other acid grenade launcher. Combine all that. 13 shots. It is horrendous. Now, I think the other burst grenade launcher's got more ammo, so we'll have to just go with that. Uh oh, Whoa, that's a bit not nice. Lost us, I think. Yes. Make good use of that container, it is a fantastic ally. Which one's got more? Oh, they're actually the same. Well, I'm not fussed then. Alright, now let's actually deal with this son of a bitch. Of course, there's only one way we're dealing with him. Bomb switch. The only reason we've got it. I want to grab the other green herb because it will go with us. We are not at full health, I can assure you of that. Now we want a bomb switch in. The problem though is actually getting it. And getting into a position where he won't attack us again. His reduced speed does help. Oh, uh, he's seen us. Or has he? Maybe 
no. He's not seen us yet. So what you see us now. Boom! Ha! Yes! Admittedly the block came quite useful there. Well now this is getting very interesting. This is <laughs> Oh, we could well achieve this. Boss number ten of course is the next. What else do you expect? Right, grab the green herb. We're gonna deal with a little bit of um grabbing some health. Now there is a red herb somewhere. There it is. I'm just gonna put these together for now. Um Oh god! Raining something. Sort of a magazine, don't want that. I'm not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that handgun rounds. Right, now, there is also a grenade launcher. It's got a single shot thing, doesn't it? Oh, it's got three more. Right, now, there is also a rocket launcher hiding in the van. First attempt, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to try and use it. What we're going to do, we use the handgun to just um, open this up. just open that up then what we can do is we can down him with something else and then just try and rocket launcher him uh oh <laughs> problem is to actually kill him with a rocket launcher we've got to hit the actual ball. Why are you close on me hey, you. crouch down <laughs> oh one actually landed inside the truck believe me that does work that little tactic. Well, I don't know where the hell those went. Rocket launch. All right then. Now, next thing we got to do is we actually got to down him, and we've also got to down him somewhere where we've got an actual angle on him. Open that up a little bit more. It keeps closing. Oh, see, what can we do here? If we down him, what's good is that? We can't actually hit him. I don't see what the hell we're doing. You see, that's no good, folks. We've got to wait for a good camera angle. It's really pathetic to say, but it, it, it's the honest truth. Come on. Come on, give me something to go at. Ow, what the hell? That wasn't cool. That attack can instantly kill you as well, basically. Now that's workable. Him again. Rocket launcher. Yes! Very good. Now that is the end of the standard bosses. Now we've got the additional three to take out, and we have achieved what would logic, which would seem impossible. Raccoon hit rooftop, two tyrants, two of them. Grab the Magnum handgun. Grab the last rocket launcher. Get out a Magnum. Oh no, get out there! I'm oh, doing acid round actually. The trick here is to only fight one at a time. You've got a turret A version, you've got a turret B version you're fighting here. One is a lot faster than the other, the other one does a lot more damage. Take out the fast version. I ah, see the other guys see me now. Oh, now, now you see, now you've got a problem. He's dead, yes, fast version's dead. Turret A is down. Whoa! Now you've got to get some health. Which there is some health around, but admittedly not a huge amount. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. There is a tyrant. There is a red herb around somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Oh no, we got problems. Danger, danger, shit! Oh my goodness me! 
Oh my god, I'm having to stagger him to get out of there! The Molotov cocktails will do the same thing! Oh my god. Grab, grab the herd! Grab the herd for God's sakes! Oh, I'm in trouble. He missed! He missed! Oh my goodness me! Oh my God, we've got. Are we down? We're down. Okay. Now I don't care about the virus gauge. Now the question is, where the hell is that red herb though? I don't remember. There's a red herb. There's a first aid spray. If we can get even one, because there's the problem is that there's no point actually using one or t'other. You usually like a first aid spray down because the health gets wasted. You just want to use a green herb to get you up, and then a fully healing item. Where is it? It's down here somewhere, isn't it? That's the first aid spray! Oh my god. There we go, okay. Grab the Molotovs. Oh my goodness me. He somehow hasn't seen us. I think there's any more health. I think that's it. The health we've got the health we've got. On our own here. Handgun rounds, I don't care about that. There is also an assault rifle as well, actually. Ooh, first rounds. I tell you what, I'll take that for a, for a um, I'll take that in place of a Desert Eagle, which is more effective because it stuns. The Desert Eagle doesn't do that. Whoops. No, sir. Ah, uh, it's dead! Alright, I'm getting the rocket launcher out, because now that both of them are dead, it leaves the final, final boss. Completely unique to Showdown 3. The Tyrant, is it Tyrant C? Now, be careful fighting, because he is quick as hell. That is an instant death attack. He is so fast. The one advice is he very rarely runs because he's so quick. I mean, look at him go! It's like a speedy Gonzales! Now, what you want to do is just rocket launch at the sun, bitch. The thing is, we've got to wait for him to do that instant kill attack and miss. That'll give us the time we need, because otherwise we're not going to have enough time. Come on, you bastard! I dare you! Ah. Uh. Come on, you son of a bitch! Stop doing that! Come on. Give me a fucking chance and I will send you to the next world. You're mine! Yes! What about that? What a victory! Oh, well, I am thoroughly happy with that. We have done it. We've even got a rank S <laughs> and maximum points. Oh, goodness gracious me. What a victory. They are all dead. Tyrant C, that was it. It was Tyrant C. Oh, my goodness me. I am <laughs> and the best part is I get to upload it <laughs> and I've done that oh goodness me it may have taken an hour of this video but I don't care that is one hell of a place to leave it we have done all the additional chapters on very hard I'm not counting showdown 1 and 2 because they're easy Compe well, compared to showdown 3 I mean my goodness that was not fun Oh my god. Um, well, as we just come up to the hour mark, uh, I will say thank you to Mr. Jamie for uh, suggesting Mr. For suggesting using Mr. Gold. That was a quite inspired choice, that. I will thank you very much for that. And that is where we are going to leave Resident Evil Outbreak for now. And I think that's a hell of a place to leave it. Oh, that's an achievement. Goodness. 
Um, so what's going to happen now is it's well, that's where we're going to leave Outbreak. We're going to leave it here for a little while. Uh, we have got a certain max paying game to complete, which I will be doing next. And then we will be taking on very hard on the normal chapters. Now I know considering what we've just achieved, things might be looking pretty good actually. And admittedly I'm feeling pretty good. But that is not to say this is going to be easy. I mean, some of these, I mean, my god, flashback, wild things. Oh my god. We are going to be in for one hell of a challenge. Um, I'm looking forward to it. It is going to be difficult nonetheless. But we shall be taking it on some point in the very near future. Uh, whenever the next video gets up, it's probably going to be, say, probably about a week, I would say. But until then. I have been the Black Shadow. I hope you've just enjoyed what you have. And I am damn proud of doing that and achieving it. So I'll thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care. And booyaka! <laughs> Later.